funny thing is he was never afraid of anything with the child. And uh, I, we were a little concerned that he wouldn't accept the dog. That only took about a week. So they are bonded very deep. Uh, if it's deeper, I'm, I'm not sure, but he is accepting. Oh, my first service dog, Macy, was really the best partner I could have asked for. It was because of her that I was able to go to college and begin living my life independently. My mother actually has a degenerative disc disease in her back, which has caused her to have numerous back surgeries and currently uses a wheelchair. Uh, the task that Jack performs most is what we call tethering. So when he goes to school, Camden has a belt around his waist that then is attached to Jack's tape, and that provides pressure. So Camden has autism, and individuals with autism like to have pressure on them often, so he's sensory seeking. So he likes to pull on that belt and he feels where the dog is and it helps him find himself in space. So this is a, a skill that it, people with autism often have trouble with. And he also helps keep Tom, Camden kind of anchored so that he's not jumping all over and running all over the place. The process to acquire a service dog is labor intensive and time consuming. It often takes months or years to find the right animal. It's actually kind of difficult. First of all, you have to find a reputable uh, trainer to get the service dog. So when we first saw it, we were going to look into it and see if it was possible. I looked around, I couldn't find any actually. You know, I, I Googled it and I looked up a number of companies and there weren't any in the area, which is amazing because we live in a large metropolitan area. Although James purchased Jacks from an out-of-state company, resources do exist in Texas to assist individuals who require a service dog. Topaz was founded out of need to assist individuals who have multiple disabilities. I myself am profoundly deaf and have epilepsy. I needed a dog to assist with more than one job. Um, it was very difficult to find an organization that was meeting the needs for these people. Topaz Canine offers a variety of programs and services to ensure their customers receive the services they need. We have two different programs. Our placement program consists of autism dogs, epilepsy, seizure response dogs, and mobility dogs. In our owner train program, we assist individuals training a dog for diabetic alert and veteran PTSD. I think one of the hardest things about living with an epilepsy diagnosis is what that means for your independence and your daily safety. And having a service dog was able to award me that, what was previously taken away. I think that it does. Having a service dog, I believe, impacts my life a whole lot. Having a child with a disability can be very stressful. It can be very demanding. And in that way, uh, I think everybody in the family loves Jack and we all get comfort from him and peace of mind. A lot of peace of mind that I know uh, he's going to let me know if Camden leaves the yard or tries to leave or if Camden is upset or something's really wrong, I know, we know it right away. I've seen a lot of stuff. Owning a service dog while being an active part of the community can have a lasting effect on both the handler and the world around them. On a daily basis, service dogs are providing safety and independence for their handlers in home and allowing them to access the community just like everyone else. The community is also impacted by the presence of service dogs working for these individuals because in turn, these people are able to integrate more into society and have opportunities that previously weren't accessible to them. What we do helping individuals with disabilities is only possible with the help of our community and those involved volunteering. Uh, mostly it brings people to talk to us and I think that that's good. It's good for Camden to interact a lot and it's also good for people to understand what service dogs can do and also uh, introduce them to folks with disabilities. So a lot of people don't really know anyone personally with a disability or, or they think they don't. Um, I think one of the greatest things that a service dog has provided to me was the confidence to do everything that 
I would have dreamed that I could do.